This particular specimen was dissected to learn about its nervous system. Anatomists such as John Barclay collected specimens so they could study similarities between different species. On Earth, we don't have a lot in common with these arthropods, the group of animals that includes everything from spiders to insects to crustaceans, like these guys. 80% of all known animal species are arthropods. They're noted for having segmented bodies, jointed legs, and stiff exoskeletons. But if you ask me, the most amazing difference between you and me and this lobster isn't immediately obvious. Let me show you. Right here, the poop shoot, or more accurately, the dorsal intestine. Now, if you've ever eaten lobster or shrimp or crawfish, you've probably just thrown this thing away. But this gross little tube holds more than just lobster poop. It tells a special story of one event hundreds of millions of years ago that changed the course of your body. In 1822, a French naturalist by the name of Geoffroy Saint Hilaire cut open a lobster and noticed that its arthropod anatomy was essentially a mirror image of our own along what's called the dorsoventral axis. Now, old Geoffrey never did figure out why, but his observation was right on. Animals like us have our guts and circulatory system on our belly side and our nerve cords along our backs. But arthropods have ventral nerves and dorsal guts. battles. The new arrival is in urgent need of a pit, and since she weighs a hefty seven kilos, she stands a good chance of getting one. She's won. These battles continue for the next two months, and they're crucial, for the females must have both shelter and warm water if they're to raise their young. For the last seven months, each of these females has been carrying around about 20,000 fertilized...